Hey guys, Fadi is letting you know some pretty cool stuff about Adobe today because today they have launched their new version of Creative Suit. It's the 5.5 version and what's so interesting about this release is that they are releasing this new SDK called Photoshop Touch. It's basically a little program that lets you create apps for smartphones and other devices as the iPad and so tablet. And Adobe also had uh, made three new little applications using this Photoshop Touch SDK. And these are called Adobe Easel, Adobe NV, and Adobe Color Lava. And they will be released next month in May here for the iPad in the App Store. And they will cost two to five bucks. So that's pretty cheap. I mean, it's it's pr pretty cool apps. So the first one, Adobe Easel, is basically a program where you could paint stuff, you know, using your fingers, just as you can see on this little picture, and then you could sync it. And that, that's the cool thing about these three apps or this SDK that you will be able to sync your creations and stuff like that that you have created in these apps to your Photoshop on your computer. So the first one, ESO, as I said, a finger painting program. You can create awesome stuff when you aren't like home and then you can like just sync it to your computer. So awesome. Then we have the Adobe NAV. It's basically going to let you view Photoshop documents on your iPad. You will also be able to customize stuff like the CS5 toolbar if you're using the latest Photoshop. And also, you know, edit things and then you just sync it to your computer. So awesome because you don't have to always be on, on your computer when you're doing stuff. And then the, I think this one could be one of the coolest. It's called Adobe Color Lava, as I said in the beginning here. It's basically a program where you can mix colors and you know create awesome stuff, and then just sing it. Yeah. And also Adobe have launched a little or they have made a little video upload on YouTube where they basically show their CS5 interaction with the iPad. So if you want to watch that, just go to the link in the description. And I see you guys next time. And obviously we're going to see ton of other small apps that they will be creating with this new SDK called Photoshop Touch for hopefully smartphones as well and hopefully it will get out to other tablets like Android tablets and stuff like that but right now it's only for the iPad so yeah see you